Hi, and welcome to Harding Studios. If you are new here, make sure to hit the like button now and comment down below. Today we finalize recording features on Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. By touching and swiping on different areas of the LCD touchscreen, you can quickly access the camera's functions while shooting. Tap the monitor icon at the top left of the touchscreen to access the LCD monitor settings. Monitor icon features include zebra, focus assist, frame guides, grids, safe area guides, and false color. Zebra displays diagonal lines over areas of your image that exceed a set exposure level. For example, setting zebra to 100% shows which areas are completely overexposed. This is useful for achieving optimum exposure and fixed lighting conditions. Set the exposure level that Zebra appears at by dragging the slider left and right, or tapping the arrow buttons next to the Zebra level percentage. Zebra level is adjustable in 5% steps between 75 and 100% exposure. The Focus Assist setting toggles the appearance of Focus Assist on the LCD touchscreen, as well as HDMI output. Level of focus can be changed from low, medium, to high. The optimum level of focus assistance varies shot by shot. When focusing on actors, for example, a higher level of focus assistance can help resolve edge detail in faces. The frame guide setting toggles the appearance of frame guides on the LCD touchscreen. You can also enter a custom frame guide ratio by tapping on the ratio between the arrow buttons. We usually use 2.4 to 1. Feel free to experiment on which frame guide suit your delivery requirements by customizing the guide. The grid setting toggles the appearance of a rule of thirds grid, horizon meter, crosshair center dot on the LCD touchscreen to set which overlay you want to display on the LCD and HDMI output. Tap the thirds, horizon crosshair dot options. You can select one of horizon, crosshair dot at a time in conjunction with thirds. This lets you use a combination of thirds and horizon, thirds and crosshair, or thirds and dot. We normally use thirds in conjunction with crosshair. Safe areas guides can be used in broadcast production, so the most important parts of the shot can be seen by viewers. By keeping the most important parts of your shot inside a central safe area, you can avoid cropping on some televisions, as well as leaving space for a broadcaster to add bugs, news tickers and other overlays along the edges of the screen. False color overlays different colors onto your image that represent exposure values for different elements in your image. Try and keep your images away from the white clipping and black detail loss range. Frame rate is discussed in the previous video. The shutter indicator displays your shutter angle or shutter speed. By tapping this indicator, you can manually change your camera shutter values or configure shutter priority auto exposure modes. The shutter measurement setting can be used to select whether to display shutter information as shutter angle or shutter speed. We will elaborate on how to change the shutter angle in the setup setting video. Shutter angle or shutter speed defines the level of motion blur in your video and can be used to compensate for varying light conditions. This is an important feature because if done wrong, your image will flicker. We use shutter speed instead of shutter angle. The iris indicator displays your current lens aperture. By tapping this indicator, you can change the aperture of compatible lenses and configure iris-based automatic exposure modes. To adjust your iris from the LCD touchscreen, your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera must be fitted with a lens that supports changing aperture via the camera. We are using manual aperture lens. The duration display provides a time code counter for checking the duration of your clips and monitoring time code during recording and playback. The counter displays a time sequence showing hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. During recording the time code is red. The following may appear next to the duration display. The ISO indicator displays the current ISO setting or light sensitivity. Tapping this indicator lets you adjust your ISO to suit varying lighting conditions. Be careful not to use high ISO because this can introduce noise to the image. For a cleaner image, see the table below for ISO in relation to stops for Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. The ISO, shutter speed, and aperture works together to achieve cleaner images from your camera. The WB and tint indicators display your camera's current white balance and tint. 
Tapping these indicators lets you adjust your camera's white balance and tint to suit varying lighting conditions. White balance settings are used to color balance your image, so white stays white by adjusting the mix of orange and blue in your image. Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera comes with white balance presets for a variety of color temperature conditions. We normally use auto white balance using the color checker. Power source is discussed in our video powering your Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera. When you are using a LUT as a preview tool on set, a LUT icon will be displayed in the top left corner of the screen to indicate that the LUT is currently active. In the next video we will look at monitor settings. Thank you for watching and make sure to watch the next video. Have a nice day and subscribe.